What's going on guys? It's your boy Turbite Reacts here and we are back with some more Death Note reaction. We're gonna do episodes 23 and 24 today. Hopefully you guys get these reactions on time and in time because I'm having a bit of trouble with my connection at home and that's why they were, these episodes were not on time um, as they are on Tuesdays. Uh, it's coming on a little bit later in the day of course um, but I am dealing with some issues at home. If you see my, if you have seen my Hunter Hunter reaction, man, I don't know what's going on. People just keeps coming over to my house. Okay, I, it's. Let me not go into that because it just it really pisses me off that this is going on now, and I'm trying to tell my mom I'm probably going to move so you can't visit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not tell you where I'm at because you taking advantage of this of me living too close to you right now like I need my space sometimes and sometimes and I really want to do so you keep interrupting what I'm doing so it's not cool so yeah so let's jump into these reactions man death note we know what's going on um what's his name Matsuda Matsuda went on national TV I think it's it, they're playing this game to get to get the the Kira that's the the guy that's playing Kira right now to reveal himself who he is, right? So to prove that he's Kira, so they have to. So Misa is trying to expose him so that L can stop, um, so that L can stop suspecting light okay because she's now you know what i'm saying like what's her name um oh my god ren or is it rem rem told went back and told me so when she was at the the um the yatsuba building when they were there she revealed herself to them be like listen this is all part of light's plan so just do anything that he says okay so I think when she went back to headquarters and they were talking, I think L L kind of picked up on it. it. Was like, why didn't she push back? Is she under control again? Does she know what's going on? She, you see, L picks up on these little things that I think is gonna come into play later, like the whole here flip when she was captured and tied up and stuff like that, and then this this little hint again of her not saying any like light telling her something and she's like okay you know what i'm saying so i think he's picking up on those little things about her being the second cure and um but the, the the funny thing about all of this is that light actually is questioning things and it's like am i really capable of doing this because remember he has no knowledge of the death note right now like he, he doesn't remember any of it but is this really a part of his plan? Like, I it, I don't know what this dude told Rem to do. I really don't know what he told what he told Rem to do. But she, um, this Shinigami is carrying out this plan. I know it's part of his plan was to give somebody in the in the in the Atsuba group the um, the um, the Death Note. Did he pick him out himself? What is going on? You guys said these two next episodes are going to be super good. So I'm ready for them. It's a lot of speculations going on right now with in my brain. But I want to see how it plays out. I know it's going to blow my mind. So let's get into it. I will see you guys for the review. If you are new to the channel, it's all full reactions. Okay. Click the link in the description. And go watch the episode and then come back here for the review after the short break after this intro. Okay, thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you guys for the review. All right, let's talk about it, man. These two episodes were so good, man. I don't even know where to start right now because y'all hyped me up for these two episodes, man, and they did not, they did not disappoint. They did not disappoint, man. It was awesome. It was good. It was off the chain, unexpected. 
um, the explanation of how light go about to bring it full circle and bring the notebook back to him. The explanation, that's not what surprised me, is what he did with to throw L off in the helicopter. That's what was Bro, the dude put a piece of the notebook in his watch. This whole time, the very same watch has been on his hand, and he had it in there. And he had the writer. The writer did not let him try to, to hide and write the, 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 the um, write the, the, the name. The dude that was playing Higushi or whatever his name is. I don't remember exactly. Higashi? <laughs> I don't remember his name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Right? In the, in, in the Death Note. Right? I Because I, I was there thinking. Okay. So now you're thinking. You have to hold on to the notebook. And. You have to hold on to the notebook. And kill the present like the 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 kira that is right now you have to do that if you want to retain and keep the memories of when you own the notebook right so he had to so he knew that from the get go so that's why he hid the the piece of the the net, the the notebook in his watch and the, using the pen to use his blood to write the name on a piece of the death note and kill the guy. Genius. Genius. Bro. The explanation was sauce also of the what he did. Cause he's like, this is this went exactly as how I planned. Cause he's like, if if this happens, I'll at some point I'm gonna have to renounce ownership of the off the death note um and then i'm gonna end up working for them because you know i'm gonna force myself into being detained so that um so that misa and i will be not suspects anymore um but i'm gonna want to catch kira because i know that's who i am you know what i'm saying so ah man did they really outsmart L though? That's the question. You know what I mean? Like, did they really outsmart L? Cause is L still playing the game right now? Is still is he still like watching? He's not making any moves. He's not really saying anything, which is unlike him. You know what I mean? It's very unlike him to not be saying anything about. Cause right now, I believe he's actually stumped. Like he, they know about Shinigamis now. They all know. Everybody that was with the, the investigation before, they all know. Everybody in the group at headquarters, they all know about Shinigamis. Because once you touch the notebook, you can see them now. They can't see Ryuk, but they can see Rem. Right? They can see Rem. Right? They can see Rem, but they can't see Ryuk because they have not touched his notebook right so they don't know those rules but the fake rules was also genius to write in the back so that they won't it's it's a it's a safeguard for them for them to um completely clear light and misa which was brilliant you know it's like if they stop using the notebook for over 13 days Right, if 13 days pass and they have not used the net book, the death note, they could die. They, they, not they could die, they will die. Right, so that was genius because I mean, they locked them up for oh, what was it over a month? Um, it was a while that they locked them up for, um, that they wasn't doing anything, they were monitoring them. So that was genius too. And I mean, that was all of that was preemptive because I guess, um, light knew that he was going to be held for a very long time so i mean the plan did he outsmart l though that's the question at this point did he 
outsmart L. Did he or did he not? We don't know. I don't know. We're gonna watch next the next ep the next couple of episodes, man. Hopefully, it's as good as they say, man. It's oh my god, this 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 anime just makes you like. Why is it? I mean, if everybody could write good stories like this, we would have so many better TV shows, better animes, just all around, just great writing. Like I believe that you sh writing is a thing that you should not attempt if you if you're not good at it if you can't if you don't feel like your story resonates like if somebody reads your manuscript and said that's trash <laughs> i'm talking about like if you're writing a story not if you're writing a book about you know certain specific subjects which is like not you know non-fiction but if you're writing fiction it's supposed to be gripping it's supposed to be um something that people can watch over and over again like the one the one um you know, one slam, thank you, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it's just, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? I hate when I watch a TV show and I can't go back to it. I can't go, like, I don't feel like, because it's like, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many TV shows that, I, that I've watched that I can watch over and over again. Like, I, I've told you guys about um, Frasier, right, which is my favorite sitcom of all time with Seinfeld coming in at a strong strong second it's hard sometimes for me to put Seinfeld in second place um when it comes on to to, to sitcoms it's very hard it's like hit and Frasier is like so 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 good they're so good it's so hard for me to be like ah man but Frasier and Seinfeld is is one of those sitcoms where I can sit down no matter how no matter how many times I know the joke that is coming, I still bust out laughing at that, those jokes. And even some of the jokes when I go and I watch the, um, I'm talking about Frasier is 11 seasons, bro. 11 seasons, I think it's 11 seasons, 24 episodes each, I think. I don't, rem I don't remember exactly how many episodes is in each season, but I'm talking about hundreds of episodes of this and I can watch them over and over again. And no matter how many times I watch these shows, I just bust out laughing at the jokes. Even though I know the joke is coming, I know what the joke is. And that's when you know you got something that is timeless, that is going to be a classic. Because you, you know, there's certain sitcoms that I've watched, I would never dare. Like Big Bang Theory is not on that level. Like I could never watch that show, watch over the seasons. Yeah, there's certain things that I that I remember that I would love to watch those episodes again, but it wasn't a consistent thing with Big Bang Theory, right? I'm just talking about sitcoms, but when it comes on to, to anime, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Naruto, I can watch it over and over again. Um, Bleach, I can watch it over and over again. Um, Ippo, I can watch it over and over again. You know, these animes, this one of, that's one of the reasons why they're in my top five is because the watchability, you know what I'm saying? The watchability, the, the rewatchability, if you want to say that, right? It's one of the factors on how I rank animes that I watch. You understand what I'm saying? Like Death Note is something that I'm definitely going to want to watch over again because maybe some things I didn't pick up on that I could go back and say, oh, so that's how they, they they played with this or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Attack on Titan is one of those animes too. Hunter Hunter is looking like one of those animes too for me. So it's like as we go along and I watch these animes, man, they, they, the, the rewatchability of these animes is really, really good, and I love a good story. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. These two episodes was really good. I mean, the, oh my God, I don't want to start talking about it again. Just leave, just leave a comment, leave a like on this video, man. Tell me what you think of these two episodes. If you love them, first time you're watching them, this is your first time watching the channel, remember to subscribe. And also, you are Terror Squad, I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys for the next two episodes. Peace.